Well, hello everyone and welcome to our new Click Branch video primers. In this video series, we'll be showing a bunch of short videos explaining click concepts with analogies. Today's topics will be hypercubes. Let's imagine you're going to a pharmacy where the pharmacist is knowledgeable with all the medicine in the pharmacy. You walk in not knowing anything about the drugs you want to explore. So you give the pharmacist a prescription paper that fully explains the type of drug you want and the strength and dosage of the drug. The pharmacist will then give you the drug with the information about it that you requested in the prescription paper. The pharmacist will also tell you what drugs does the prescribed drug interact with, in other words, including and excluding drugs from your choice. So as you see in front of you, the green symbols represent the medicine you wanted, the white symbols represent the drugs that you goes with your prescribed medicine, and the dark gray symbols represent the medicine that does not relate to your prescribed drug and you should avoid it. In this analogy, the pharmacy represents a click product, such as ClickSense. The pharmacists represent the Kix engine, who is very knowledgeable with all the drugs in the pharmacy. The medicine in the pharmacy represents the data. This is analogous to the associative difference technology of the Kix engine, showing what is selected, related, and excluded from the selection after indexing the data. You represent the data analyst or the developer that will be interacting with the engine through APIs to analyze the data. And the prescription paper represents the properties of the hypercube that fully explains the type of drugs you want, which is the dimensions, and the strength and the dosage of the drug, which is analogous to the measures. As you can see, here is a simple example of a template of a hypercube properties that shows the properties of a hypercube that is to be returned by the engine. For further details on data loading and extraction using the engine, check out this other video for the engine tutorial on our channel. This is another way to think of a hypercube with a dimensions and measures. Note that a hypercube could be n-dimensional, meaning that, as a developer, you can define as many dimensions and measures you want to extract from your data. You can also attempt to do the calculations on the return measures. For example, two dimensions could be the sales department in the North American region, and the measure could be the sum of sales for the dimension specified. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos here. If you enjoyed this video and found it really helpful, please leave a comment in the comment section below and tell us what you'd like to see explained in the next video primer. Peace out.